Hey guys, Mr. Kyle, Myers Mathematics, and let's just jump right into it. So today, I have my awesome wife helping me record this video because I don't have anything to hold my phone with, but it's all good. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna show you how to do a program, all right? It's actually a lot simpler than you would think. You don't need to know like C plus or any of those crazy languages. Um, and then also how to delete a program and how to copy a program, how to like copy and paste. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you some of my programs here. These are like the top seven things that I would recommend having on the SAT, all right? And I'll have all of these in um, my video that I'm gonna make that's gonna be in my course, my little mini course that I'm coming out with. It's an SAT mini course to help you boost your score really quickly by doing little tricks like putting programs on your phone, which are totally legal to have on the SAT. You can go and check the rules for yourself. But anyways, let's go ahead and look at a couple of these. So this one's the distance formula, all right? So notice I have the formula here. It doesn't display the whole thing because it's a long formula. But then I have the two points right here, x1, y1, x2, y2. So I would highly recommend this. You don't have to display the formula first, but I would recommend it, and that way you don't get it confused which variables you're typing in. But you definitely need your inputs, which is what I have here. So x1, let's say x1 is 1, y1 is 1. So that would be the point one comma one. Then for my other point, let's say I do four comma five. So the distance between those points is actually five, and that's what's gonna happen when I press enter here. So that would be one comma one, four comma five. Hit enter one more time, boom, spits out the answer. And then it says it's done. So then if I wanna go back and look at this program, I go to program, and then here notice it says EXEC, that's execute, that's to do the program. Over here you can edit your program. So go to distance. You can see what it looks like here. So here's the inside scoop on my distance formula program. It's really simple. You start off with display. Make sure you put quotations around it, otherwise it won't display this thing. It'll come up with an error message. Display, parentheses, and then your formula. All right, so here's my long formula. And then I end it with parentheses as well. And then I display the actual points that I want, x1, y1, x2, y2. And then here I've got inputs. So there are four things, four things, you need to make a program. And they're not like super, super needed, but it was what I would recommend to make a good program. So display, number one. Number two, you need your inputs. Now, if you wanna be super, super like basic, not basic in a bad way, but like, you know, just don't do anything fancy, then instead of doing input, you can actually do this other thing. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. But I like to do input, it's a little bit more fancy. I can say, hey, I want X1, and then I have to say what the variable actually is because you can't actually make a variable called x1, unfortunately. But I have my four inputs here because I need my points, my x1, y1, my x2, y2. And I have x2 and y2 as a and b because I can't use x and y again. All right, I have to use different letters. So you can use whatever letters you want. It doesn't have to be x, y, a, and b. You can do a, b, c, d, or something like that. But after you do your inputs, step two, you want to do step three, which is the actual formula. So you wanna do the actual formula, which in this case is the distance formula. So the square root of A, which is X2, X2 minus X1, B, which is Y2, Y2 minus Y1, squared, all that. And then this little arrow thing right here, that's actually this key down here, it's super important, S-T-O, it means store. So I'm gonna store that answer, all of that math stuff that's happening, I'm gonna store all of that as the letter C. So that's step three. And then step four, you wanna display your answer, step four. So I want to display C. Now I can make this a little bit more fancy and I'll show you a little bit more fancy version of a program in a second, but that's what that looks like. All right, so second quit, get out of there. Program, edit, let's go ahead and look at the midpoint formula. It's a little bit different, but very, very similar in a lot of ways too. Display, display, right? Step one, display. Step two, input. Step three, I actually have two of these, two step threes, I'm doing two things. I wanna find the average of the x's and the average of the y's. So I find the midpoint. And then step four, display. So I'm displaying the answer here. Um, since it's a point, I have to use these curly brace brackets. Um, if you know a way to use parentheses instead of curly brace brackets, let me know in the comments below. But uh, this was the best I could figure out how to do. Um, and then you just display your C and then your D. All right. So now that I've shown you a couple of my programs, let's show you how to actually build one. So go over to new, right, program, go over to new, hit enter. 
you want to name your program. So obviously if you're going to name it, you probably want to name it, you know, something with letters. So you do second alpha and that locks the alpha button. So that way every key you press is actually a letter or a nice little theta. So we want to name it something. Let's name it, um, I don't know, average. So A and V, E. And it's kind of hard to do this because it's like, it's not a QWERTY keyboard, but uh, you know, it is what it is. <coughs> Bless me. Ah, sorry. Average. Age. There we go. So um, also note that when you name your programs, you can only do eight characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can do one more character if I want to. Um, maybe I'll put like a, a one here. Press alpha to unlock my alpha. Average one. But notice I can't put a two. If I try to press two, it doesn't work. You can only hold eight characters. So when you name your thing, don't name it if they're something super long, like the distance program, I couldn't name it distance formula because that wouldn't fit. So hit enter, boom. Now I have a program called average one. All right, so step one, program, go over to IO. And then you want to do uh, a display. So again, this is not super, super needed, but it's nice to have. So if I want to do the average of two things, right, I need to, let's say I want to display, so display A plus B. Um, and then, oh, sorry, I need to insert a parentheses here. So put a parentheses there and then divide by two. And then boom, there we go. I'm going to display that. That's my formula to take the average. All right, cool. So now um, I don't need to display anything else because we know we know what A and B are going to be. I can, uh, I can either do this and do an input and then do the, the fancy stuff where I go like, you know, A and then have it return A. That would be the super fancy way. So that would mean that on the screen, when you actually do the program, it'll say A colon, and then you type in what the variable A is. Now you don't have to do that. If you want for a program, you can actually just do prompt. And that's a lot easier. So if you don't, if you want to start off with an easier program, just prompt for the variables that you're actually going to use. All right, so I'll just do that. Program, prompt, just so you can see how easy this is. All right, so I've got step one, display. Step two, input or prompt. Step three, execute. So I'm actually just going to do the same exact thing as I did in my display. I'm going to just type in A, since I used the same letters. I'm just going to do the same exact thing. A uh, plus B over two. That takes the average of two things. And then I want to store that as some other variable. I can't use A or B. I can use any other letter. Let's do C. And then step three, program, display, and I want to display the answer. And there you go, that's it. So second quit, get out of there, program, execute. All right, so there it is, average one, boom. And now notice it puts a little question mark here. So when you prompt, instead of uh, do the other one, the input, it does this, and you can't really control that. It does that if you do prompt, that's just the default thing. So that's what it'll look like if you prompt. If you're okay with that, go for it. If you want it to look really nice, then you could do the input instead. So let's say I want to find the average of, I don't know, four and six, because that would be five. Pretty easy to find out. Average of four and six. Boom, five. And then we're done. All right, so let's say, let's say you named your program something funky, or you just don't like the program, because I don't really need this program. Taking the average is not that hard to do, so it's not really needed to have that program in there. How do I get rid of it? All right, so here's what you do. Go back to your main screen. You don't have to clear it necessarily, but you go second, and then this plus down here, memory, memory management. And then you can either scroll down or you can hit the key seven. If you scroll down here, it says program. So you want to manage your program. And then you select it and then delete it. And it'll say, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. And then it's gone, boom. All right, so then the last thing I want to show you is what if you like your program, but you don't like the name, you want to rename it, or you want to do something else with it. Well, you can actually do that too. You have to kind of do it a little bit of a weird way, but you can do it. So let's say I want to combine distance and midpoint formulas, and I want, I want them to be one formula, because you use all the same variables, right? So um, let's say new, and then I want to name it, right? So 
let's say uh, I name it distance D I S where's my S key distance um, and then slash uh, let's see alpha math oh, you know what let's just say distance mid dis mid and I'll know what that means so alpha lock again dis mid distance and midpoint dis mid okay so I want to put both the distance and the midpoint formulas in here, but I don't want to spend all that time doing all those program thingies again, right? So here's what I do. Where it says store, above it it says RCL. That means recall. So it's sort of like copy paste. So recall, and I want to recall, well, it's asking what to recall. I want to recall a program. So I want to recall the distance formula. Boom, there's the distance formula. I just copied and pasted the distance formula into this thing here. And then all I have to do is do it one more time. So second, recall, program. I wanna put the midpoint formula in there, enter. And there's the midpoint formula. Now I've got the distance and the midpoint formula all in one program. Now, um, I do have to do a couple other things to really make this uh, work properly. When you do two programs in one, you have to be careful. Um, I'll do that maybe in another video, but that's all for today. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this, and I will see you in another episode.